My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Come join me for a trip back in time. We have a 20,500 mile survivor duster. And you know what makes this thing cool? Well, there's several things that make it cool, but this snakeskin top. This is original, never been replaced in mint condition. That's a big part of the reason why I bought it. Uh, this is called the Gold Duster. There was an actual model, uh, limited edition uh, car that came with the lizard skin vinyl top, uh, full hubcaps, the white wall tires, uh, more plush interior. Uh, it has the striping on the sides and around the back, uh, along with some other options. So this was a genuine package. And you can see it came with the original owner's manuals. They look like brand new. Uh, the warranty paper uh, filled out, the consumer information, and the original window sticker. Again, 20,500 mile survivor. This thing's in excellent shape. It's got a 318 under the hood. A lot of these were six cylinders. It's a 318 V8, power steering, power disc brakes, cold factory air conditioning. Car's just been serviced. Uh, it's ready to, to drive and enjoy. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can look at all the pictures and read the description. You will also find a price tag on every one of the collector cars we have for sale at volocars.com. Hope you enjoy the videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go back in time and go for a spin. Little old lady car, most of its life. That's the story I was told. Uh, we got the car uh, and serviced it in our own shop. I looked at the work order, it was about $1,600. We went through the fuel system, replaced the sending unit in the gas tank, rebuilt the carburetor. The front calipers and hoses are replaced. The rest of the systems were checked. The suspension was inspect inspected. Uh, they topped off the air conditioning with the original R12 Freon. It's blowing cold air. So underneath the car is very original. There is zero rot under this car at all. It's all the original metal up underneath the uh, quarter panels right behind the tire. No patches, nothing rotten, nothing's been caulked or played around with. It's original rock solid metal. Same thing with the floors, the frame rails, the inner rockers, all of it is excellent original metal. On the window sticker, uh, undercoat I think was a $60 option. They did have this undercoated from the factory. Uh, up front, like I said, it has disc brakes, they're drumming back. The e-brake assembly is all hooked up. It has a single exhaust system. Uh, the muffler, actually the pipe, all of it's in real nice shape. The muffler looks really nice. Um, there's still assembly line markings on different components, like on the rear end and different suspension parts. It uh, still has the markings. It's never been spray painted under this car. It's just really well-preserved original. And again, our mechanics have inspected it, uh, and everything appears to be in really good shape. So it is VIN number matching. The motor number is stamped down by the oil pan, I believe. That matches the car. It's a torque. Torque flight automatic transmission. That's VIN number matched to the car as well. Um, now the body, all original body. This is original paint on this car. Uh, the body itself, let's check it out. All straight, all fits nice. No body issues at all. No rust whatsoever. No bubbling. No uh, fender benders. You know, hitting the garage or anything like that. It's all nice and clean and smooth, all nice and clean. I did catch a mild dent right here. I'm sure a dent guy could easily take that out. Uh, body's all real nice, original, fits nice. The corners of the trunk's real nice. This side's all real good as well. Yeah, no issues with the body. It's actually pretty darn impressive. It is straight. No rust, no damage. 
the original paint. I'm going to call it excellent because it's from 1973. Uh, if this was a brand new car, yeah, there would be things you can complain about. But this is the original paint. It shows very well. Got the original striping and the gold duster. But there's going to be little nicks and chips. There's a chip in this stripe right here. A few little nicks on the door, some little nicks here. Will be imperfections. Here's a chip right here. Thought I seen a little dimple. Way down here, here's a little scratch. A few little scrapes down there. It actually might even rub off. So yeah, as far as original paint car is concerned, here's a chip. Uh, I think the paint's really nice. The snakeskin top, probably the most important part, it looks brand new. This thing is mint. There's no cracks or splits. It's not shrinking. That's an excellent shape. If I bought this car, I would definitely get a pair of boots and a belt to match. How cool would you be? <laughs> Original glass is crystal clear. Uh, the trim, the stainless moldings, all of that's real nice. Door handle's real nice. Door shuts like a new car. Back window's real nice, clear trim, real nice. Bumper is shiny. Got the bumper guards, 73 had that. Tail lights are really nice. Oh, that's an excellent shape. Again, the full hubcaps, it was an option. The mirror is real nice. So let's open it up and check out the inside. The outside of the car is in really great shape. Okay, I am such a liar. I said the little old lady never backed into anything. Uh, but here, there's a little dent, and it's been painted right here. So there is a little uh, character, a little, little minor war wound that I didn't notice at first. Trunk compartment, all original. Obviously, original paint, original sticker. The weather strip is the original. It's still soft. You have the original trunk mat. It does have some cracks in it. One of the original tires is underneath here for a spare. And as part of the jack assembly, the rest of the jack is right here. It looks like it's never been out of the car. Literally, it looks really nice. The lug wrench is there. All rust-free metal. Uh, we must have replaced the fuel pump as well. Here's the original one in the box. So they went through the fuel system. So very well-preserved trunk. Nice, clean, original door jams. The weather strips are in real nice shape. Now the car was covered in plastic. You can see the plastic protector on the door panel. Uh, there is some damage at the bottom of the door panel. I bet you it hit the seat belt. The seat belt was probably laying out and closed the door on it. Other than that, the door panel is pristine. The interior of this car is practically like brand new still. No question about the low miles. Look at the instrument panel, the chrome, the bezels, the lenses, the gauges, pristine. Dash pads, pristine. There's no wear on the steering wheel at all. This is mint. No scratches around the ignition. And look at the dash. Look at the heater control, the radio, which does work. <coughs> Glove box, all of this is mint condition. Yeah, she, she smokes some cigarettes, but the ashtray is spotless. There's the AC vents. The carpet's in really nice shape. A couple little stains in the carpet. Now the seats. You can see they're wrapped in plastic. The bottom, the plastic was removed because it was cracking and falling apart. So these have been in plastic since the car was new. Uh, the seats uh, just about literally still look brand new in this car. The headrests look new. Uh, still has the floor mat on the back carpet. So it even had them over the visors. Man, oh man. So the back seat's immaculate under this plastic. The side panels, all the trim, the headliner, the seat belts, all of that's in mint condition. The rear shelf, the visor. This interior is almost brand new. A little bit of tiny wear on the carpet. Not even wear, but some staining. And, uh, yep, has the same damage on this door panel. And it's right where the seat belt is when you close the door. So I bet the door got closed 
and the seat belt. And it is a 318 motor under the hood. Uh, again, very original, very complete. All the vacuum lines and overflow bottle and washer bottle, everything's the way it should be. Under here, all original, the marking from the assembly line, uh, hood insulation, and again, the air works. We charged it, and it's cold air conditioning. It does look like a radiator hose has been changed. Uh, it does have power steering and power brakes. The original heat riser tube is still here. The battery is secured properly. The original fender tag is in place. And I wonder what that means. That's the date, 413.73, number six. Does that mean this is the sixth one made? Who knows, but that's kind of cool. Now you got a story to tell with the car shows. Make one up. So there you have it, really well-preserved original motor compartment. So there you have it. This is the real deal. This is a genuine survivor car considering its original. I think it's in excellent condition. Great list of factory options. The fact that it's the gold duster is cool. The vinyl top, the snakeskin top just puts it over the top in my opinion. No pun intended. Uh, so an interesting piece. Uh, go to the car shows, have some fun with it, enjoy driving it. These low mile cars can't be duplicated. They feel so different. Just the little bit I drove it out here in the lot. It's just smooth and quiet, no rattles, no shakes. It's just a different type of car. Get yourself some snakeskin boots to match and uh, go, go rocking it, man. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman, ask them your questions. They'll help you the best they can. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help get it financed for you as well at volocars.com. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.